a ball is thrown at an original speed of 8 meters per second at an angle of 35 degrees above the horizontal. What is the speed of the ball when it returns to the same horizontal level? So if we draw here, this is the ground level. If we throw the ball up at an angle of 35 degrees and it follows a projectile motion, it's going to land back down here. Now the velocity, shown here in red, is the velocity at which we throw it with, RV. And when it's falling down, when it's come back down, its velocity will be in this direction. Now, they want to know what is the speed of the ball when it returns to the same horizontal level. So we're not taking into account really a direction here. We're just worrying about the magnitude of it. Um, for this, we know that the horizontal velocity is always the same, no matter where you are. Vx is always going to be the same, no matter where you are. So at the final position, Vx is also the same. We know that because it's not accelerating here. So v naught x is equal to V final x, our final x velocity, same as our initial. But now the question is, how does the y component vary from the initial starting point to our final point here. Is the velocity the same? Is it different? We can see here that it's in a different direction, but what's the magnitude difference between these two? So to determine this for the y component, we're going to use d squared equals v naught squared plus 2a delta y. Now, at its initial position, y naught is equal to 0 meters, and y, our final position, is equal to 0 meters as well. If that is true, delta y equals y minus y naught would be 0 minus 0, so delta y would be equal to 0. This here shows us that our final velocity squared is equal to our initial velocity squared when we're dealing with the y component, remember? So if we take the square root of this, v final y is also equal to v naught y. But it is just in a negative direction. So we go down here to find the magnitude of at the initial position first. So v we know is equal to the square root of vx squared plus v naught y squared. So v naught x squared plus v naught y squared. Now at the final position, we have v final is equal to the square root of an v naught x squared because we know it's the same throughout the entire trip for here and we have now plus negative v f y squared but we know that if we square this v f is going to be equal to v naught x squared plus vf of y squared, but we know f of y squared is simply just equal to v naught y, so v of f is equal to the square root v naught x squared plus v naught y squared. So here we've shown that our final velocity is in fact the same as our initial velocity. So with that being said, we've shown that the velocity here, our speed, our nets, are the magnitude of our velocity, otherwise known as our speed, is 8 meters per second. And when it comes here to the final point, its magnitude, its speed, is also 8 meters per second, which we have demonstrated by these two equations here. These are showing that our initial velocity is equal to our final velocity. So therefore, the answer is B, 8 meters per second.